it sucks. And I wish that these guys would like spend their time and efforts on something else, but they're not going to stop. Especially when like, when, when an institution actually caves to this kind of like cynical framing, they get a taste of it. Like there's a reason why it compounded since like, uh, since uh, the Cracker. A-Rap's podcast got banned, oh, right? No, okay. Because if someone is just constantly going, um, this is a problem, this is a problem, this is a problem, and the platform doesn't actually offer it any sort of, uh, you know, any sort of seriousness, right? It's illegitimate. And I know this because, like, these guys went to the New York Post and, like, every outlet they possibly could with this story and no serious outlet took it seriously they were like okay this seems like yet another instance where you are conflating anti-zionism with anti-semitism we're not going to cover it right so it was always like illegitimate uh uh propaganda rags that were uh you know engaging in it <sighs> but that's neither here nor there. They, like the only people that would like take this kind of shit seriously uh, was the likes of Richie Torres. Right. <laughs> and it, it was, it would never have been a thing, but then Twitch took action against the Sabra Hummus tier list. And then when Twitch took action against the Sabra Hummus tier list, just like the cracker thing, right? It became a serious situation, right? It became a serious situation after that. It's only real if a, a like legitimate institution, uh, it's only real if a legitimate institution takes the cynical uh, framework seriously. If everyone goes, you guys are ridiculous, Left. you literally have... You're, you're yelling from the platform that has like straight up neo-Nazis on it. Shut the fuck up. How, how ridiculous of you. And then it, that, then it doesn't go anywhere. They can compound on it over and over again and just like manifest or, or I mean, fester in their own hatred, but it would never go anywhere. But then when institutions do take it seriously out of fear because they are worried then obviously in that process, obviously in that process, like now people are going to write articles about this, right? Yeah. Twitch apocalypse has begun following criticism of the platform for anti-Semitism, with nearly all creators uh, reporting a noticeable drop in their revenue. Interesting. Don't listen to this propaganda. They're not lying. All the phases complaining in the group chat. Yeah. I said this, I said this, I talked about this. I said, Asmongold, you're like uh, collaborating with these fucking losers is really dangerous territory. That's what I was referencing. I was like, you're, you're, you're playing with fucking fire. Like these guys want to tank the platform because they're just straightforwardly filled with hate. Okay. That's it. And it's not even necessarily just like Asmongold. Asmongold is just like another party in this process. Um, but it's it's basically the <laughs> most... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm laughing for no reason. Give me five minutes. Ooh. Uh, uh, cancel culture. And I don't know why people don't understand it. Like this has been, this is straightforwardly a Kiwi farm style operation. They used to do this back in the day. Like the Nazis used to fucking do this shit all the time. They would like um, dox people. They would do like mass email campaigns. Ironically enough, everyone thinks. Ah, oh, fuck me, dude. <sighs> okay. Uh, sorry, I don't care about this sign right now. Hold on. The... Can I... Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, here, listen to this, sorry. You mean admit what? Asmin Actually, no, wait, I don't need permission. This is my Discord. I do what the fuck I want. Okay. D 
Does anybody have um, pictures of the, the person that got banned in my Discord by Forethought who was complaining about sexual harassment? Is, was that picture ever linked publicly? It was on the subreddit. Can somebody link it to me? Hold on. Jesus, how do we in Lunabox have so many mutual friends? One of these is that mod. I'm never going to find out who it is. Oh, Nat. Oh. Oh, maybe I didn't add him. Okay. Whatever. Regardless. Um, okay. A few days ago. I'm sorry. So the, the, this is just an example of like the retarded shit that I have to go through and I have to follow up on you fucking children. Okay. To figure out like what the fuck is going on. All right. So somebody pings forethought um, in the Discord. Somebody pings forethought in the Discord, uh, basically saying, like, uh, fuck, I don't want to get the message wrong. It was something along the lines of, oh, wait, here, I found it. Okay. Fuck me. I don't care. Whatever. If I'm, you know what? I don't care. No one else summarizing it correctly. If I get this wrong, somebody could post a picture of it and correct me later. Basically, somebody pinged uh, four thoughts and like, hey, I think this is like uh, why women aren't going to be in your server or whatever. And then uh, I think when four thought gets a ping, he gets ass pained if you ping people with Stark and then he bans them, which I don't think is good. Um, he's not on the Discord anymore. Okay, you shouldn't be banning people for that. Okay, but <laughs> I just got sent. Um, I just got sent more, I guess, logs, I guess, of this person's interaction in this channel. And I don't know if I would say that all the behavior is necessarily great, but now I I understand everything that happened. So I understand way more. Because um I know the one the person involved who was making the unhinged comments, and I'm I don't think he's like a terrible person or a sexist or but he might be. I don't know him that well. But <clears throat> This is this person's entry into the channel, okay? Hey, is there any way someone might have time to help me with a front-end problem? I cannot get the rest controller slash type script or to get my multi-threaded array to print on the homepage. It prints on localhost uh, local 8080 messages, uh, not on localhost 8080, it's for my advanced Java class. And then, <clears throat> I think people in the comp side chat start making fun of her. How many XX chromosomes are in your bot? Like, so there, there, I don't know how true this is in general. I heard the meme said a lot. This would be an example of it. If you go into a comp sci area with a girl profile picture, sometimes you can get people to do work for you for free. Um, because, uh, people can, um, 
Yeah. So people kind of uh, reply and make fun of her a little bit. Uh, hey, can I help? Blah, 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 whatever. You know, wait, why funny? Okay, so then she replies, wait, why is this funny? Sorry, are you guys all 16? And then the... Um, so nobody's engaging with the request for help or to do the homework, I guess. Wait, really? No one wants to help me? LOL, I thought you guys like coding. <laughs> um, obviously, other responses. No, are you retarded? We're professional money makers. Pay ever shut up. I am a professional CrowdStrike commentator. I am locked into talking about CrowdStrike. This is like obviously more shit posting. Um, and then she does uh, another, obviously poking a little bit. Um, <clears throat> oh my God, your guys' memes are so funny. Rage Pope shit posts a little bit. Um, and then she responds to him, especially you. You're hilarious. I hope one day to be comp sci enough to be accepted by you. This was when the CrowdStrike outage happened. Gotcha. Uh, she drops the, KK, thanks, guys. I'm going to love on and be nice to you until you love me. Heart, and then kissy heart face. Um, then Linus comes in with the, why pretend to be a woman? Just be man. And then she hits him with the, LOL, you're a weirdo. What is wrong with your brain? LOL, I'm just right, he says. You're a self-described dog lover with zero pictures of dogs on your Twitter. You're using faceless random women on YouTube and Twitter. On this account in Discord, you're primarily asking for help. If you're an actual woman, I'll give you $50 right now to take a photo with a timestamp in the next two minutes and this channel name on a piece of paper. And then that was the... And then afterwards, I think that's after this is when she pings forethought to say that the community is not accepting a woman or whatever. Fuck this person. I don't know if this person is even a woman and fuck this retarded shit. If you're going to go into a, if you're going to go into a fucking channel and you're going to beg for free help on your fucking homework and then start like shitting in the chat because people aren't helping you for free because you have a female profile pic, either one, you're a fake woman, in which case, fuck you, obviously, or two, you're a real woman, in which case, double fuck you. Why the fuck are you acting like such a retard? Stop. Okay. Oh my God. <clears throat> Yeah, they want me to, They. I, what, what do you want me to do? Fucking be like, Israel is the best. I'm sorry, guys. There it is. You got it. You won. Israel is the best. There's no genocide happening. Israel, and if there was one happening, it's good. Yes. Is that what you want me to say? Fuck, man. I hate this shit. It is so deliberately like trying to stop real fucking speech, like normal conversations from taking plays on this matter. It is so fucked up. Like it's out of so breath. fucking insane. I feel like I'm losing my goddamn mind, dude. Fuck. Fizz, the ADL praised our team's moderation when we were helping AOC for how little anti-Semitism they saw in the chat, but now all of a sudden you're anti-Semitic? Yeah. This community has been so active in fighting against anti-Semitism more so than virtually every other community online. And the reason for that is because we are very knowledgeable on this. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Many people don't even understand. Did he get kicked out of his house? Where is he Many at right now? Think about it. They don't, they might say shit that is anti-Semitic without even realizing it. We don't even let that sh shit slide. I use that as a educational opportunity all the damn time. Can I say, okay, <clears throat> Before the federal government formed, you had the Federalists who were writing the Federalist Papers. There were a group of people called the Anti-Federalists who didn't believe in a federalized government. They thought that a federal government would encroach upon the rights of the states and they would take too much power away from the people. And they would have to rebel a whole new time against a whole new corrupt government, okay, that was taking too much power. And one of the large concessions that was made was, okay, listen, you keep saying that the federal government is going to do all these things. It's a government of enumerated powers. It doesn't even have the power to do these things, okay? Look, it's literally written in the Constitution. Everything else is left. Why? Like, why? Come on. We, we, it's not, the government doesn't even have this power. <clears throat> and the anti-federalists go, bullshit. I want you to give me a guarantee, okay? 
I need you to make me a sworn promise, all right? Write it the fuck down. And they wrote it the fuck down, and that's where the first 10 amendments come from. The Bill of Rights were a guarantee, essentially, to the states. Okay, listen, like, codified in writing as part of the Constitution, okay? Here's your Bill of Rights. The, the government will not touch these things, okay? One argument against something like the Bill of Rights is, well, hold on. If you start saying explicitly what the government can't do, is the assumption going to be that the government can do something unless you say that it can't do something? Like, why would you have a thing saying, like, Congress shall make no law? Like, they already shouldn't be able to do that. So why would you, why would you have to have that in writing? Now you're making people think that the government can do it unless you think preventing them to do it, right? That was an argument against it, okay? One of the things that I don't like about the Twitch, the new Twitch rule update is... It, it's not needed, and it's not necessary, so I don't know why they added it. Why do you need a thing explicitly saying you cannot use a term in a racist or hateful manner? That should already be encompassed by the other rules. So when I see something like this, can I use other political slargon? Slargon, jargon, or slogans. So, you know what? Fucking slargon. What a great word. Somebody should make it. Can I use other political slogans? or other political jargon to demean or be racist to people unless there is explicitly a rule that lists that word? Like, wh why do we even need this rule? Twitch, uh, yeah, are we going to do a press release for every single slur? Oh. Our hateful conduct policy is designed to protect our community from attacks based on a person's protected characteristics, such as race, nationality, religion, or sexuality. The policy prohibits harmful behaviors like suggesting that a victim of harm deserved it or sharing a hateful image or symbol. As part of the hateful conduct policy, we prohibit the use of terms that may or may not be harmful or abusive in isolation, but can be used as a slur or to denigrate others in certain contexts. In line with that approach, starting today, using the term Zionist to attack or demean another individual or group of people on the basis of their background or religious beliefs against our rules. It wasn't before? What do you mean? So you're telling me that on Twitch before, if somebody was an Arab, I could just call them a terrorist? Because terrorist isn't against the rules. It's not a bad word. Or I could just call somebody ISIS? Oh, look, <laughs> what was your name? Al, al, a what? You mean al terrorist? Oh, nice. What's up, ISIS? Like, you, you're telling me I wouldn't get, you wouldn't get banned from? Of course you would. Obviously you would. Because that obviously falls in line with the hateful conduct policy that's already existed on Twitch. So why would you have to, why would you have to create, carve out this whole brand new press release to explicitly call out the term Zionist? What the fuck? Would you say this line of argumentation is also relevant to the issue of Democrats wanting to introduce a bill making explicit that a president can't be in office for three non-consecutive terms? Personally, I think right now a president could serve three or four or five terms with no problem. I, I do not think there's anything that prohibits this from happening. Um, um, is it the 22nd and the 25th Amendment? Hold on. No. Oh, it might be the 12th Amendment as well. Hold on. Okay, so here's an issue that you run into, okay? This is the wording, okay? Because remember, when Republicans or conservatives can be textualists, they will absolutely be textualists, okay? They will read the text if the text supports them, all right? The 22nd Amendment is as follows. No person shall be elected to the office of the president more than twice, and no person who has held the office of president or acted as president for more than two years of a term to which some other person was elected president shall be elected to the office of the president more than once. But this article shall not apply to any person holding the office of president when this article was proposed by the Congress. It shall not prevent any person who may be holding the office of president or acting a president during a term within which blah, blah, blah. So you cannot be elected as president, okay? But if you look at the wording of the 12th Amendment, well, what 
how do you, what is the qualification for vice president, right? So, <clears throat> all this says is no person constitutionally ineligible to the office of president shall be eligible to that of vice president of the United States. There isn't anything here about being eligible to be elected to be the president of the United States, just eligible, to, ineligible to the office. So I feel like there is a textual reading that as long as you have the qualifications, meaning you're at least 35 years of age, you are um, a naturalized born citizen, um, and I think there might be one other, um, but, but as long as you have the qualifications there, as long as you're not elected directly to the office, because the only thing the 22nd Amendment prohibits, there's no mention of the vice presidency in here, the only thing the 22nd Amendment mentions, it doesn't disqualify you from office. These are, this is not a qualification. This is just saying you can't be elected. I don't even know, is qualification even used in here? It's not even used in here. And the only thing the 12th Amendment says is no person constitutionally ineligible to the office of president shall be eligible to that of vice president of the United States. I think there's a strict reading of this where you can be, you can just like be the vice president the next term and then just have your president leave and you're president again. Um... Yeah. I don't know. Um, I had a guy email me this and walk through this. And I'm like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> the only, the problem is that like, if <laughs> I mean, under this court, if you, if you read this, like, but also I think trouble will be tooled by them. So we don't have to worry about this shit, but it's an interesting little memer, interesting little memer. Social activism managers in Europe. This one called for legal immigration pathway to the UK for Palestinians fleeing the war in Gaza, the lawsuit at, uh, said. Just like the UK did for Ukrainians, we asked for the government to urgently create a visa scheme allowing Palestinians to reunite safely with their loved ones in the UK. June 2024, supporting campus protests. Ben and Jerry said it intended to support poor Palestinian college protesters in the US by posting public statement in June. It said the post would support their First Amendment rights, but the lawsuit did not include its text. In September, Ben and Jerry sought to endorse Bernie Sanders' resolution calling for... In the time of dangerously escalating anti-Semitism, we commend Twitch for changing their policy against the use of the Zionist. A use of Zionist is a slur and proxy rate against Jews. We are glad Twitch acted on our recommendations to make this change. Oh, no. However, policy is only as strong as enforcement, and we will be vigilant and appropriately skeptical about Twitch's enforcement of this new policy. When one of the largest streamers on Twitch, Hassan Piker spends the hours after the Amsterdam pogrom minimizing its harm without consequence. It's clear the platform still has far to go. Okay, just as a quick thing, don't let me take away from, uh, from our Jewish crusaders. Isn't pogrom like... Doesn't that usually mean with the consent or the acquiescence of local law enforcement? Isn't that like the... Isn't that like more of the hard implication there? Like if, like if me and 20 boys go down and start like busting up Jewish businesses and like killing Jews and taking all their shit and setting on fire, like it would be rioting, it would be bad. We were like, kill, it would be horrible. But I thought that like pogrom, the big, the big thing about that was the police saying like, huh, good luck Jews and like looking the other way. I thought that's what made it like such a big deal. Or, or, or I thought that was like, not, I'm sorry, not what made it a big deal. I thought that was like a, a, an essential element of, um, what that was, hold on, is it pogrom or pogrom? Pogrom <laughs> results for what? Oh, is there one going on right now? <laughs> because otherwise, isn't pogrom just, is that just a special word for rioting against Jews? <laughs> is that, do they have their own, their own word for Jewish rioting? Or riots against Jews, I should say, sorry. It applies to any ethnicity or minority. Uh, that might be true, but I don't think, like, I've never heard of, like, the Tulsa race riots referred to as a pogrom or whatever. Uh, maybe it was, though. Maybe, and I just haven't read it. I don't know. Is a violent riot incited with the aim of massacring or expelling an ethnic or religious group, particularly Jews, from under the English language from Russian to describe 19th, 20th century text of Jews in the Russian Empire? Okay. Maybe it doesn't include necessarily an element of police.
<laughs> when do you think this was added? Man, they got to get that. Got to get that anti-Israel shit in there. Based. American Jews are in alignment with me in overwhelming numbers on this issue. Okay? But it doesn't matter. And this is something that I've said from the first day onward. I said this. I said, if every single American Jew tomorrow turned anti-Zionist overnight, okay, it still would not change America's calculations with Israel because Israel has nothing to do with Judaism, okay? It does not. It is presented as that. It is packaged as that. It is sold as that, and it is defended as... This is what he's doing. Um, <clears throat> he's not the first person to do this. This is really slick propaganda, okay? The goal is is you obviously want to hate these motherfuckers in Israel, um, and you want to hate them on their ethnicity. You don't want to hate the Arabs. You want to just hate the Jewish ones. So the way that you do it is you try to separate. You try to divorce out the um, ethnic or religious part of it as much as possible while um, still being able to attack them on their nationality. It's so funny. I think we listened to Hassan literally do this. I think Hassan literally said... Israel has nothing to do with Jewishness. It's just like this horrible ethnocentric religious state. Or And it's like, wait, what do you mean? What ethnicity? What do you mean an ethnocentric state? That has nothing to do with Judaism. And then they'll do this. Well, I'm only talking about the, um, I only, I'm only talking about the religion or whatever. I was like, nobody means that when they say Jew. Nobody's talking about the religion. Um, but it's, yeah, it's dumb. It, this is just like a little propaganda trick. Anti-Semites. It's kind of like when um, it's like when people will say like "fuck Mexicans" and "fuck Venezuelans" and "fuck these Puerto Ricans" or whatever, and people will be like, "Well, Puerto Rican one of it," but like people, are like, hey, hold on, dude, are you okay? Are you like you kind of racist? And they're like, "Excuse me, racist? <laughs> you think Mexico? You think it's a race? You think there's Mexican people ethnically? I'm sorry, a white person can be Mexican." So you're the racist, sir. I didn't actually have anything to do with race when I said that. I just fucking hate Mexicans. People from the country of Mexico. You're actually being racist by assuming I meant Hispanic or Latinos, okay? That's on you, chief. But then it's funny because then Hassan will then in the next bit say, oh, also, Destiny's Islamophobic. And it's like, I have said that in the past. I, yeah, I don't, like, I don't like any fucking religions. Fuck Islam, okay? Um, or Christianity or whatever, okay? Fuck them. But when they say Islamophobic, they're hardcore calling into um, ethnic. They're calling like an ethnic identity into. Um, it, they they want to bring that to, to the to your mind when they say that, right? When you're Islamophobic, nobody actually cares if you're Islamophobic, but they care that you're racist against Arabs, which is bad. You shouldn't be. And a lot of people that are Islamophobic are really just people that hate Arabs, um, which is also true. Which is why you saw people attack like Sikhs and stuff because like, oh fuck, Talhad, he's a fucking, it's a fucking Arab or whatever, right? Yeah, they're just racist. Um, but it's funny to see him play the exact same game when it comes to Jews or Israelis because it benefits him here and then call out on other aspects. I think it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. This Thank is you for one of the most like, revealing aspects it is of really being revealing. pro-Israel. Ben Shapiro, all the way back in 2015, after Ann Coulter says some horrific shit that is deeply anti-Semitic about Jewish people, Ben Shapiro tweeted, Ann Coulter tweets regarding Jews awful, nonsensical. Ann Coulter is also super pro-Israel and has always been so, so I won't lose sleep. Was State Department aligned with Hassan? No, it's not that they align with me. It's that, like, USAID, for example, obviously makes proper assessments on, on how dire the situation is on the ground. And they send those memos all the way up to Anthony Blinken, who then refuses to recognize it. He just refuses to, to acknowledge it. Destiny never says fuck Judaism. Why do you fucking retards always come in here and say the most retarded shit? You're so white and you're so American. And there's two reasons why I know that you are, you're a 20-year-old white American kid. I know you are. I, I know all three of those things are true. Okay, I have your age down to the year. I know that you're white. And anyway, and you know why? I know why for a couple reasons. One, it's because I have said that a million times. I don't give a fuck about it. The Jewish religion is cringe. Fuck all that shit, okay? It's weird and cringe. Uh, I said it when I was in Israel. I'll say it in America. But also number two, no Jew gives a fuck. Do you understand that, right? It's not a proselytizing religion. If I go up to a Jew and I say, yo, boy, your religion is dog shit, by the way, they would go, oy vey, cool. They'll be like, wait a second, were you, 
were you ever Jewish? And I was like, no. Like, I don't give a fuck about you. Like, oh, well, fuck you, motherfucker. They, you think Jews don't give a fuck if you make fun of their religions? They don't, they're not, their goal isn't to convert or proselytize. It's not what they do, right? It's like I've used the term like goyim and shit as like an insult for a non-Jew. I don't even think goyim is technically an insult for a non-Jewish person. I think goyim is an insult for people that are Jewish but don't practice their faith or they've left the religion. Like it's not even like Jews, Jews don't give a fuck if you make fun of their religion. If you're not Jewish, they don't care. And and I don't care if I make fun of the Jewish religion because nobody cares about the Jewish religion. Um, it's, 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 that's not like that's not what's at issue generally um, when you're talking about things. Just don't be unaligned with U.S. foreign policy. And you'll be fine. That's the message. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. But he's leaving. He's like, I'm done. He's like, I'm I'm done with this. <laughs> yeah, wait. And he can I need to be like that fuck account on Twitter that just says fuck every single word. We just need a... We need a... Um, I need a list of every single religion, and we can just go down the list, okay? Once a month. That'll be our new dailies. Fuck Zerastafastarianism. Fuck the Seventh-day Adventists. Fuck the Book of Mormon. Fuck, yeah. These kinds of actions, if kept quiet, like, the the restrictions, in my opinion... Look, a couple things. One, yeah. I think that uh, humanity has a slant towards justice, Right. No matter what happens. Ooh, moral progress. Right from wrong. That's not very postmodern of you. Deluded, even if they're deluded, everyone has a yearning for emancipation and they will always move in that direction. OK, so that's number one. Number two, that's not copium. That's just how history has always operated. Please, dude, look at the circumstances that we exist under. Like people talk about how fucking sexist or, or reactionary like Americans have gotten. And then and then you. Compare it to like, you know, the labor movement of the 60s and their assessment and their opinions back then. It's not like they were fucking woke back then. They were. <laughs> wait, did the wait, wait, this account tweeted at me, <laughs> bro. There were so many people that linked this to me and they're like, you really thought that Harris was going to win at nine o'clock? And it's like, I did actually. Once I saw Miami flip red, the real funny thing is, I don't want to say anything at the beginning of the stream, but like. The writing was definitely on the wall as soon as the Florida votes come, started coming in. And Miami was like, <laughs> Miami was like majority of Republican. <laughs> I think I looked at the and we saw it like, oh, shit, this is going to be a night. Oh, no. That shit cray. <laughs> we got to jingle those keys, baby. Bro, that's super childish. People hardly know right from wrong, and that's even without considering the existence of gray. No. You made me lose 500 with that false hope. I have so many people that emailed me. Guys, I, maybe I, I think I talked about this on stream. It's why I don't like bet stuff or whatever. Um, I had three different people email me saying they bet a significant amount of money and lost a lot. But I don't know, I don't know who's trolling now. So this last guy that emailed me must be trolling because I recognize the name from chat. I hope. I just got this one an hour ago and then 39 minutes ago. It's got, this has to be a troll. Did you bet that Bitcoin in the end? Not only did I not bet the fucking Bitcoin, I fucking sold it. So I don't think I got any of the big gains or appreciation recently because I converted it to USD. So I didn't even get on my big Bitcoin upswing. Oh, and also, I guess I was a year off, so it doesn't necessarily count. Didn't I have a big argument a year ago? And I said, Bitcoin will go to 100K. It'll get back there. I feel it. Oh, I guess it didn't quite get there. It will get there, though. Palestinians. Okay. That's it. That is the reason why these kinds of reactions are occurring. It used to be so much worse, in my opinion. As the situation becomes uh, more and more indefensible in the eyes of, of many people, I think... Uh, I caught Jonathan Greenblatt hanging out with JDL Terrace at UCLA on a live stream from April. 
Since we're also concerned about the support for terrorists, here's ADL President Jonathan Greenblatt caught hanging out with the recognized terrorist organization Jewish Defense League during a live stream of mine from UCLA on April 28th. Yeah. JDL was founded by uh, fascist extremist Mayor Kahan, has committed countless terrorist attacks on U.S. soil and abroad. They were deemed a right-wing terrorist organization by the FBI. Joe Biden actually declassified them as a terrorist organization because they said that they are no longer, you know, uh, that they are no longer <laughs> uh, uh, what do you call it? They're they're no longer they're dormant. Do you want me to drive in pick you up for game day? Um, I will be coming in a little bit later. The whole situation has made me completely lose hope in humanity. Guys, there is no, no, you can't be nihilistic, okay? You cannot be nihilistic in this moment, okay? That's, that's what people want you to do, okay? Asmongold is right now talking shit on you and blaming you for a Twitch adpocalypse that he says is happening now. Oh, buddy. Oh, brother. Uh-oh. Hmm, I wonder why he's saying that. Oh, he's going to say, I have the Asmund mind virus. I've infected him. Say it. Say, you, say it, Hassan. Say it. Do not give in to apathy. Do not give in to nihilism. You know right from wrong. You keep fighting for it. You keep advocating for it. Okay? This too shall pass. Yes. Yes. Okay? Carry on. We will be anti-Semitic this again in the future, shall pass. my brothers. Nevertheless, that's it. <laughs> You have to maintain optimism. And as someone who once again has seen the. I went through a deep dive last night to find out what's going on with this platform. And you know what my problem is? I'm going to say it. I'm not even pissed off at the streamers for doing this fucking crazy shit. I'm pissed off at Twitch for allowing it to get to this point. Facilitating it, allowing it, condoning it, or turning a blind eye. I can't even get mad at the fucking streamers for their fucking crazy shit takes and their crazy rhetoric and shit like that. I can't even get mad at them. Because I, am, I have kids. I have toddlers. And let me tell you something right now. If my kids act out and do a lot of crazy shit and I don't stop it or, or, or do something to it, guess what? That's on me if they turn out to be pieces of shit and if nobody wants them over at their birthday party. You don't blame the kid. You blame the person that can stop it. So I'm a little bit fucking frustrated right now. I'm a little frustrated. Okay? I don't know what's going on. I'm not going to get into it because I don't have a, a pony in this race. You and the saga had a falling out, right? Um, I don't know if we... I'd say we had a falling out. I think we had a fairly brutal debate. But I'm always cool with everybody after. And he seemed like we're... He seems like he's cool with me. I don't think he... Yeah, I think we're okay. I just... Obviously, I super disagree with them over all the GameStock stuff, but... Oh, no. Open on November 6th. Oh, uh, what the hell? So you're getting... Wait. Oh, bro, you're just getting no ad money. 
at all. <laughs> Uh-oh. All the time, man. So how do you think I felt that I was taking more measure, I was I was taking more precautions than most people, yet I was being banned twice as much. So I felt threatened all the time, man. So if you can tell me, oh, you don't get a cool contract because we've strung you along for years, but please stream for us one billion fucking hours Plus run our ads, but if we want to, we'll ban you whatever you, we want for the most mundane reason that everybody around you doesn't get banned for. How does that make you feel? Fuck that shit. Hell no. I, w I don't stem it. I don't think that disrespect it. That shit is fucking trash. Fuck them. What a joke, man. What a fucking joker. People say, oh my god, dude. These streamers are so loyal. So they're so loyal. No. I mean, yeah, feels bad, man. Jesus. Asking that question. <laughs> On the day you're supposed to be voting, now you're going to ask the question. I also just received a $5 tip. Ever. Why don't you do something now? You're already the freaking VP. Exactly. If this if this ad was, I previously was talking. Okay, don't care about this. Fousey's, was Fousey ever banned from Twitch? Oh, rip. Okay. See if I ever get sick that I forget or don't get into Keen Bobby Dreamies. I'll hang myself. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I will see you on Monday for a new game. <laughs> you have a cracking weekend, all right? Bye for now. How to... Oh, wait, sorry. And my devs, or not my devs, but the devs that I work with, right, they, they've calculated some of these view bots that we uh, encounter have to cost between 10 to 20,000 a week. Like we're talking like fully automated IPs are completely spread, right? Like the most basic view bot, every IP is going to show up from one country if you catch my drift, right? I'm sure you can guess which country, right? But there are some complex view bots now that ping IPs, like one IP per fucking goddamn city around the fucking world. None of them overlap. Do you understand? There's one way we can catch them now, but I, I'm not going to say that way because I'm sure the view botting uh, technology is going to fucking uh, uh, learn and adapt from that. But that's the fucking problem. Do you understand? People, like, I'm telling you, clout is a hell of a drug. Why he never names names? Has he been saying people are rebounding for years and years? Give us a name. Ich daran, dass ich cool bin. Hey! Er hat mein Handy geklaut.
Why don't they make, you know, they have anti-rape condoms. Why don't they have like anti-steel phone things? Like if you don't grip your phone right, it just explodes in your hand. Because no is not a final answer. We need to have the mentality that no means find another way. No means try again. No means look somewhere else. No does not mean stop trying. Good job, Senko. Do you think a Twitter file sold a candle to what Elon does? Uh, I actually think that they're worse. So, oh. okay. Uh. Real clip. Two paintballs hitting each other. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Ah! I'm doing this. Why am I getting absolutely epic? Hey, that's me. Supporting me. What about a hundred gifts to take down my half? Two more. Two more. Oh my god. Oh, are you okay? Oh, shit. Are you okay? You have to breathe, breathe a second. All right, Darion said both you balding, almost said niggas. Darion said. Wait, what? I didn't even, what? All right, Darion said both you balding, almost said niggas. Darion said. Uh, okay. He, wait, isn't he allowed to say it? I don't get it. Wait, isn't Erod black? Feel this is ultra cringe or not? They are uh, they're doing their Maori stuff in the New Zealand Parliament. I don't know whatever it is, but okay, listen, have fun. Yeah, he's working on it. Uh, the only problem is me and Sebi. What are you doing? Oh yeah, I'm showing Rob how to play the trumpet. Right, so the air comes out here. You just blow in there. And <laughs> <laughs> This is OTK's top streamer. <laughs> Where yeah, are they now? <laughs> you, no, you need a you need a mouthpiece for it.
for the equalizer. Suarez picks up Weygat. Able to work it across yeah. time game! Lionel <laughs> Messi! <laughs> and we- Are you allowed to... I don't know if the rules are for getting the ball back. Able to work it across time game! Lionel Messi! <laughs> Me when I'm trying to IP ban a gym flare and it keeps getting protected by the anti ban bot. Lionel Messi! <laughs> and we're all. Okay. Oh, random question. Can you output video from your motherboard and graphics cards at the same time? Because I just realized if I can do that, I don't even need another graphics card. I can just do the HDMI out right from the motherboard. Are you able to do that? Oh, this is a good idea. Two as well. Can we API that process? Question mark. An actual fucking value add for her fucking tier five subs i think for blue sky i think we can give um oh i think we can give um at wait i shouldn't say this until okay okay says hold on hold up there's no tier five option on youtube no there's not i feel bad for selling memberships at all on youtube okay you guys are getting scammed <laughs> I don't give you guys just fucking anything. I think on um, Blue Sky, we can make it so that, like if you're a sub on my site, you get like a free, not a free, but it would you'd be able to have the at Destiny GG uh, domain on Blue Sky or whatever, I think. 